In order to download data from your Vulkan V600 meter into a laptop or computer, you need a null modem cable. This is a 10-foot null modem cable, which Vulkan stocks. It is part number 49-10153-001. This cable is plugged, one end of the cable is plugged into the back of the V600 meter into the RS-232 port. The other end is plugged into the serial port of your laptop. Now most laptops are pretty much the same and will have a port that looks like this on the back. Now be careful because there's another one that looks very similar which is used for video out. This one is different from this because it has mail pins and there are only nine of them. If you have Hyperterminal installed on your uh, Windows 98 computer, you will find it under the Start menu, Programs, Accessories, Communications. Look down through your Communications list and see if you find Hyperterminal. If you do not have it, that means it was not installed as part of Windows 98, and you will have to install it yourself. This is easily done by going to Settings, and control panel. Look for add remove programs and go up to the top where there are three tabs. Go to the Windows Setup tab. Here it will start scanning your hard drive for the installed components and when it is finished it will give you a list. Under this list you will find communications. Select communications, go to details, and make sure Hyperterminal is checked. You will then have to install your CD-ROM, your Windows 98 CD, in your CD-ROM drive and it will, it will load Hyperterminal for you. Once that is done, you can indeed find it under Programs, Accessories, Communication, Hyperterminal. And this brings up the Hyperterminal folder. One of the items in here is marked hyperterm.exe. Double click on hyperterm.exe. Since this is the first time you've used it, you should configure it to work with the V600 meter. The first thing you need to do is give your connection a new name. Let's call it V600 communications and click OK. It then gives you information about where your connection is going to be and on the bottom line it says connect using and you want to select the COM port that you have your cable plugged into. In this case on this laptop it's COM1 and now it says connect using direct to COM1 and click OK. You then have to set up your uh, communications properties. Under the port settings, under bits per second, select 9600. Eight data bits is fine, no parity, one stop bit. Under flow control, select none and say OK. Your hyperterminal is now configured to run and communicate with the V600 uh, meter. When you close this, when you close the window, it will say, do you want to save the, v the session V600 communications? Say yes. Once you've done that, you will see now that there is another icon that says V600 communications. From now on, when you want to download information from your V600 meter, you don't have to go through that setup. You simply, you simply double click on V600 communications, and when Hyperterminal comes up, it will be fully configured to operate with the V600 meter. Once Hyperterminal is up and running, in order to capture the information, you select Transfer, Capture Text, and give it the name of a file. The easiest way to do it is to place it in your C directory. So you put in C colon backslash. And if you are capturing data on a daily basis, you probably want to give the file name uh, a name which will allow you to know what date you downloaded it. So today, for example, is March 15th, 
So I would put in, for example, D031501.t dot txt and either press enter or click start. Now anything you'll notice down here at the bottom of the hyperterminal screen it says capture. Anything that comes into the hyperterminal program will be saved into that file. There are two ways to initiate the transfer of information from the V600 meter into the PC. The first is from the meter itself. From the V600 meter select the configure system menu press enter and press the cycle button until it says configure RS-232 port press enter. Sp scroll with the up or down arrow until it says data. Now if you do not see the data option means you do not have any data stored in your V600 meter and therefore you cannot download it. But if you have data stored if you then press the enter button all that data will be downloaded into your computer at which time the meter will ask if you wish to erase this data. If you press the enter button all the data you have in your meter will be erased. The other way to start the, the transfer of data is from your PC or laptop. If you press the T key, for T for transfer, all of the data from the meter will be transferred into your laptop. If you then wish to erase the data in the meter, you can press the E key, which will erase the data in the meter. The data that you see on your screen now has been captured and placed in the file that you designated. So in order to stop the transfer, you must once again select Transfer, Capture Text, and Stop. Your file is now ready. It will contain these records. You can close Hyperterminal at this point. and bring up whatever program you wish to load your data into. For example, if, if you wish to load it into Microsoft Excel, you would proceed like this. Once Excel is up and running, from the menus at the top of the screen, select the File menu and Open. It then brings up a dialog box in which you must select the file type as text files and go up to the C menu where we downloaded our data into D031501.txt and say open. It then brings up a text import wizard, step one of three, and asks you what kind of file this is. In this case it is a delimited file delimited by commas so we go to next and we select the comma option and as you can see it separates it into columns for us and select next and then it asks us about the formats of the various columns and we just select finish and here is all the data that was downloaded by hyperterminal and is placed into a into individual columns in Excel this data can also be imported into other conventional programs such as Paradox or Microsoft Access or uh, most database programs have the ability to absorb an, a comma-separated ASCII text file.